I am Dr. McCarr and this is Carrie and we're going to sh um, show you how we do an exam for when you bring your animal in for an annual or if they're sick. Um, we always do a head to tail exam and I'll kind of just run through what we do and what we're looking for. Um, so I typically, every doctor does it differently, but I typically start at the mouth and kind of work my way back. So first thing we're doing is checking the teeth. I'm going to go all the way to the back molars, looking for tartar, gingivitis, masses, color. You can see she has a little bit of tartar here, but really her teeth are in good shape. And the other side. And if they'll let you, kind of open up and take a peek. Tongue looks good. It's nice and healthy. Looking at the nose, make sure there's no discharge. Color looks good. And then I'll move on to her eyes. Want to make sure the cornea is healthy, the back of the eye. So we take our little light, our little ophthalmoscope, take a peek. Everything's looking good. Good job, Fern. Then we'll check the ears. I want to make sure there's no discharge, infection, or inflammation. Look down the canal. She looks great. Ears are nice and clean. Other side. If we did see inflammation or discharge, we could take an ear swab at this time. Then I'm going to go underneath her um, jaw here and feel lymph nodes and salivary glands. Make sure they're the right size and shape, which they are. They're not painful. And then usually I kind of just go down the front leg, looking for lumps or bumps or any swelling or lameness. Her range of motion is good. Nails look good. No pain. Good job, sweetie. Then we turn her around, tail towards me. All right, and then just kind of feeling down the ribs. Make sure we can still feel them with a little pressure. Make sure she has a nice waist here. Make sure she's not overweight. Make sure the coat looks good. Make sure we're not seeing any fleas, any lumps or bumps. And she's in pretty good shape. I'm going to feel her belly, her internal organs. Make sure there's no pain. She feels great. Then kind of going down to her rear legs, checking all her joints. Just like the front, making sure she has good range of motion, no popping, no crunching, no signs of arthritis. And make sure her feet and her paws look healthy. That's good too. And I'm gonna, I usually end with listening to the chest, the heart and the lungs. Make sure there's no murmurs or arrhythmias. And everything sounds great. And also feel pulses at the same time. Listen to her breath sounds. And she looks great and it's a picture of health. 